children, all the children of the world. Every color, shape, and size, they are precious in His eyes. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Good morning, beloved. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Our scripture for reflection this morning is taken from Mark 10, verse 15, and I'm reading from the NIV version. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let's unite in prayer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, our Lord, our Rock, our Redeemer, our Savior. Amen. Now, beloved, this is a very common scripture and a well-known verse. Anyone will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Now, this verse can be easily misinterpreted. It does not mean that children are absolutely and perfectly sinless, as any parent can attest. It does not mean that children have special knowledge that earns them the right to receive God's blessings. It means that those most eligible to experience God's glory and sovereignty in their lives are the people who have no presumption that they legally or spiritually deserve it. In Mark 9, verse 37, Jesus says that his followers will accept children in his name and in doing so, accept him. In Mark 10, verse 14, Jesus says that the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like children here, beloved, Jesus commends those who receive the kingdom of God like children. When presented with a great gift they do not deserve, children will generally accept it gratefully and unselfconsciously. They have no thought of earning it or even feeling guilty about receiving it. They just want to enjoy it. Beloved in the Lord, in our hyper-competitive world, Characterized in equal amounts by pride and shame, we can quickly get to a place where we believe we must work to earn God's favor. We feel pressured to be successful in the world with a steady income and influential job and successful in the church, able to serve, provide wisdom, and at least present our families of all the provisions and requirements they need and righteous life. It's exhausting and it's not what Jesus plans for us. Our obedience to his will is to come out of a place of love for him. 1 John 5 verse 3. That's all. John 14 verse 15, beloved. And even so, he knows that we will not always obey. Our status in his kingdom is not dependent on how much we do. It's on how we love him and how we know we will be able to obey him and do his good will. Friends, in conclusion, Mark 10 verse 13 to 16 continues Mark's depiction of what Jesus' followers look like by sowing Jesus' attitude toward children. While in Capernaum, Jesus taught the disciples that in the kingdom of God, the powerless like children are most welcome. The kingdom is open to those who come humbly with no illusions that they belong there. Yet Jesus says that the leaders in his ministry must not accept the powerless, but they 
must recognize that they are powerless as well. The story is also recorded in Mark 19, verse 13 to 15, and Luke 18, verse 15 to 17. So, beloved, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. May God give you the wisdom and me to reflect on his word and to live according to his will and purpose. Amen. Let's unite in prayer. Father God, we give you all the glory and honor for this day. Once again, for your word teaching us about Mark 10 verse 15. That truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Please, Lord, guide us and guard us that we can enter the kingdom of God like a little child. Bless us, Lord, now to all eternity. Amen. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now to all eternity. Amen. Beloved, go in peace and love and serve the Lord. Amen. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Every color, shape, and size, they are precious in His eyes. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Every color, shape, and size, they are precious in His eyes. Jesus loves the little children of the world. He's got the whole world in his hands 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 He's got the whole the whole